Wolfenstein Furniture and Flooring. Northeast on State Route 1 in Leo, southwest on Illinois Road. Kayla Stewart, 21 Alive Morning News. Now, your 21 Alive first alert forecast. Our live look over Fort Wayne this morning reveals a pretty nice sunrise. We're starting to see clouds clear out of the area. That's good news. Weather starting to move out of our area, so that's even better. We don't really have to worry about the rain today. We're currently reporting partly cloudy conditions out at the airport. Temperature currently sitting at 68. And like I mentioned, clouds clearing out of the area. This cold front is tracking to the east, which will continue to clear out the rain. Yeah, there's a weather system out in Missouri that will slowly move to the east, but it should stay to the south of us. So I'm not too concerned about rain today. The next system that we're tracking, actually off in Canada still. You can sort of make out the green, but as it's moving, it's starting to dissipate. But over the next 24 hours, as it moves our way, it's going to re-strengthen, bringing us the next best chance for rain overnight Friday and into Saturday. So here's what that looks like on your future track here. This is the big picture because you might be traveling to Chicago or Detroit or wherever it is, so you might want to know what it's going to look like in those areas. Future track for today, nice and dry. There's those rain showers and thunderstorms off to the south of us this afternoon. Maybe a sprinkle in our area, but that's about it. Most of the uh, places closer to the Great Lakes should stay dry. Then, as we get into Friday morning, mostly dry conditions, but then here comes the weather system. Can't quite make it out until about 4 or 5 o'clock when we start to see those isolated rain showers spring back up. But the rain will become a little bit more intense overnight Friday and into Saturday. You notice there was a lot of red on that map, at least in some parts of the area. So rain could be heavy at times overnight, but not going to last long. The system should clear out of the area by about oh, 8, 9 o'clock on Saturday, leaving us for drier conditions for the second half of the weekend. So your forecast for today, a high of 83, a small chance of a pop-up rain shower. And if you're heading to the Fort Wayne FC match tonight, kickoff is at 7.30 against Mexico City's Atalante. Forecast looking pretty good. Maybe one or two isolated rain showers, but that's about it. Temperature at 7 p.m. will be around 83, 76 at 10 p.m., and conditions should stay mostly dry. Now, we are hanging on to the warmth, so as the cold front moves through, we're really not going to get that cold. Friday, highs will be in the mid to upper 80s for a lot of us, with feels like temperatures probably in the low 90s, thanks to the humidity. Saturday, slightly cooler in the afternoon, will be in the mid 80s for the high, in the same case for your Sunday as well, but it will feel humid, muggy meter, pretty high, all throughout the entire weekend. So just be prepared for a sticky feeling air mass over us the next couple of days. But like I mentioned, temperatures are staying relatively warm. We'll hang out in the mid 80s through the weekend. And then as we get to Monday, with the chance for some rain showers and thunderstorms, temperatures will drop back down to the low 80s. Yeah, Caleb, over all those temperatures, not too bad, my friend. I know tomorrow it'll be a little hot, but we'll get through it. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Five